All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So obviously this week and next week, I'll be focusing the direction of my channel to cover the 2017 Mr. Olympia and really all things uh, involved in that, whether it be the 212 Olympia, the Classic Physique Olympia, the overall Olympia, and maybe I might touch on you know men's physique a little bit. So this video is going to be my predictions for the 212 Mr. Olympia. Now, unfortunately, one of the guys that I have definitely, I, he would have been in the top six for sure, probably even a threat to the top three, is Hadi Shupan. Um, so this is a guy from Iran. He's from the Middle East. And this guy was qualified for the Olympia to do the 212 division. I showed you guys in a video uh, maybe a couple days ago. I think I titled it a 212 monster. Um, and Hadi is just this massive 212 bodybuilder. He's got an insane back. Um, his con his conditioning looks crazy. His midsection looks crazy. But unfortunately, because of issues with his visa, he is not able to come for the Olympia. So this is a guy that I think was definitely, you know, he could have been a threat to Flex Lewis, honestly. This guy was amazing. But unfortunately, he will not be able to attend the Olympia due to some issues with his visa um, and some new laws, I guess, set into motion by Donald Trump, according to some of the sources that I have um, about Hadi. So let me read you guys the qualification list. Just keep in mind, even though Hadi is on that list, he is not going to be there. So we have James Lewis. Obviously, that's Flex Lewis. We have Ahmad Ashkenani. We have Jose Raymond, Eduardo Correa, David Henry, Charles Dixon, Milan Sadik, Ronnie Rockle, Sean Clarita, Mark Dugdale, Ricardo Correa, Derek Lunsford, and of course, Hadi Chupan. So to get some frame of reference, let's look at the top five from last year's 212 Olympia. You had Flex Lewis in first, Ahmad Ashkenani in second, Jose Raymond in third, Eduardo Correa in fourth. And surprisingly, they had David Henry in fifth. I think David Henry is a way better bodybuilder um, than he really gets credit for. So let's fast forward to the most recent uh, 212 competition where all these heavy hitters were kind of competing, except for Flex Lewis. Um, so at the 212 division, at the 2017 Arnold Classic, you had Ahmad Ashkenani win the overall there. Um, so this was the guy who got second last year at the Olympia. You had David Henry move up above Jose Raymond. So David Henry placed second, Jose Raymond placed third, Guy Cisternino in fourth, and Zane Watson in fifth. Then you have Hide Yamagishi um, in sixth place. So I believe Hide and Guy, neither of which are qualified for the Olympia at this point, so they will not be there. But Ahmad Ashkenani is definitely the guy that everybody is talking about right now um, to be the biggest potential threat to Flex Lewis. So um, in my opinion, here's going to be my top six prediction. So in first, I think Flex Lewis is going to be able to edge it out for one more year. I think Ahmad Ashkenani is going to be in second. Now, I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to like my third place prediction. There's a lot of Jose Raymond fans out there, myself included. I'm a big fan of Jose Raymond, but in my opinion, um, his physique is slipping a little bit. His placings are slipping a little bit. Um, and I think it's largely to do with his midsection. I just think he looks really, really blocky on stage. And in more recent years, I think he's looked a little bit blockier and his conditioning has been a little bit off. Now, again, there's no hate you know, towards Jose Raymond for me. I'm a big Jose Raymond fan. But I think this year at the Olympia, he's going to be in fourth place. And you're going to have David Henry move up to that third place spot. Because in my opinion, David Henry is one of the best 212 bodybuilders of all time. He looks like a miniature Phil Heath. Um, and his upper body, arguably one of the best upper bodies ever in the 212. But his main problem is his legs. His legs don't really match his upper body. But his upper body is so amazing um, that sometimes it just doesn't matter. And he just he just looks incredible. And let's not forget that David Henry is actually a winner of the 212 Mr. Olympia in 2008. So he's actually won um, the 212 before. So this is a former Mr. Olympia champ. I think a lot of people forget that, that he won that competition. Um, a lot of people just think of Flex Lewis as being one of the only guys on stage that has won it. But really, David Henry's won it before, and he has one of the most impressive physiques on stage. So I think we're going to see Jose Raymond slip into fourth place. So then I think in fifth place, we're going to have Ronnie Rockle. Now, Ronnie Rockle used to be an open competitor. And in my opinion, I think probably realistically, um, Hadi Chopin would have been in that fifth place spot if he were there. I think he definitely would have edged out Ronnie Rockle. And Ronnie Rockle would have probably been in sixth. But because Hadi Chopin is not going to be there, I think we're going to have Ronnie Rockle in fifth. And then in sixth place, we're going to have Eduardo Correa. So those are my predictions, guys. We're going to have Flex Lewis in first. Ahmad Ashkenani in second, David Henry in third, Jose Raymond in fourth, Ronnie Rockle in fifth, and then uh, uh, Eduardo Correa in sixth. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Ahmad Ashkanani has what it takes to edge out Flex Lewis this year? Or do you think Flex Lewis is going to hold on to the title for one more year? In my opinion, I think that is going to be the case. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.